this is iteration and in iteration we have different methods to solve linear equations so one of the methods that we will be discussing this time is Jacobi method Jacobi method is the first iteration technique now to explain this method we will make it as our example so we have used the Jacobi method to approximate the solution of these systems of linear equations we have our first equation 5x sub 1 minus 2x sub 2 plus 3x sub 3 is equivalent to negative 1 second equation negative 3x sub 1 plus 9x sub 2 plus x sub 3 equals 2 and then the third equation that is 2x sub 1 minus x sub 2 minus 7x sub 3 is equivalent to 3 now the objective of this problem is to solve the unknown variable which includes x sub 1 x sub 2 and then x sub 3 so we start with our solution for this particular problem we will do the transposition transposition of the unknown variables okay so first equation we have 5x sub 1 minus 2x sub 2 plus 3x sub 3 that is equivalent to negative 1 so we will write here our x sub 1 our x sub 1 that includes or that equals 2 so if this is x sub 1 then this 2x sub 2 and 3x sub 3 will be transferred to the other side so we have uh, and then this 5 also will be transferred to the other side so that becomes 1 over 5 and then we have here negative 1 and then this 2x sub 2 transferred it to the other side that becomes positive 2x sub 2. And then this x sub 3 will be transferred to the other side that becomes negative 3x sub 3. 3x sub 3. Okay. That is transposition. Next, for the second equation... We want to find x sub 2. That is equivalent to this 9 will be 1 over 9. One over nine times. This one is two. And then this three x sub one, negative three x sub one will be transferred to the other side that becomes positive. 3 x sub 1 and then this x sub 3 to the other side that becomes negative x sub 3 next x sub 3 for the third equation we want to find the value of x sub 3 which is equivalent to this time this is negative we will transfer this one to the other side that becomes x positive x sub 3 and then this 7 transferred to the other side that becomes 1 over 7 the reciprocal and then multiplied by this 3 to the other side because we already transferred this 1 to this side so 3 to the other side that becomes negative 3 and then we have plus 2 x sub 1 and then negative x sub 2 that's it so we did this transposition I will rewrite this one to x sub 1 so we did this transposition of our coefficients now the next is to 
uh, because we have we do not know the actual solution we will choose the value of x sub 1 x sub 2 and then x sub 3 which is equivalent to 0 okay for this case x sub 1 is equal to 0 x sub 2 is equal to 0 and then x sub 3 is equal to 0 now after we have here the initial value of x sub 1 x sub 2 and x sub 3 as equivalent to 0 this is our initial approximation this time we will substitute this value to our to this new equation so we will have this as our solution uh, x sub 1 okay we will make the value of x sub 1 x sub 2 x sub 3 equals to 0 to this equation so x sub 1 that is equivalent to negative 1 over 5 for this case and then plus 2 over 5 x sub 2 x sub 2 is 0 and then negative 3 over 5 x sub 3 is equivalent to 0 so we find the value of x sub 1 as this is 0 and then uh, 1 over 5 1 over 5 that is neg negative 1 over 5 that is negative mm, negative 0 0.2 negative 0 0.2 then next we have x sub 2 for x sub 2 that is 2 over 9 plus 3 over 9 times x sub 1 we have here 0 and then minus x sub 3 that is minus 1 over 9 our x sub 3 is equivalent to 0 so we find the value of our x sub 2 as 0 0.222 that is 2 over 9 equals to 0 0.222 that is our x sub 2 and then x sub 3 when we substitute the value of x sub 2 as 0 and then x sub 1 as 0 then we have here negative 3 over 7 that is equivalent to negative uh, 0 0.429 that is the value of our x sub 3 so, after we find this x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, we will do the tabulation. So, we have here, let's say our n. Our x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. Okay, during our first iteration, during the first iteration, we have the initial value. We will no longer include this one with the initial value of x sub 1. x sub 1 equals negative, negative 0 0.2. This one is 0 0.22, 222. And then negative 0 0.429. This is our first iteration. This time, we will make use of our x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 to this equation. 
So, for example, to find x sub 1, our x sub 2 is 0 0.22 and then our x sub 3 equals 0 0.429. So, the equivalent for that is, equiva is 0 0.146. And then, for x sub 2, the, the value of x sub 1 is 0 0.2, x sub 3 is 0 0.429, the equivalent for x sub 2, that is 0 0.32, uh, 0 0.203. For x sub 3, we will substitute the value of x sub 2 as 0 0.222, x sub 1 as 0 0.2. So, the equivalent value of our x sub 3 is negative 0 0.517. 0 0.517. That is our next iteration. Third iteration, we have, we, it appears the value of x sub 1 as 0 0.192. Uh, 0 0.328. Third iterate, I mean, third, uh, x sub 3 equals negative 0 0.416. And then fourth iteration, it appears that the value of x sub 1 is 0 0.181. Using the same process, 0 0.332 and then negative 0 0.421. And then the next process is 0 0.185 and then 0 0.329 and negative 0 0.424. We have here 5. Then we have here 6 and 7. For 6, that is 0 0.186, 0 0.331, 331, and negative 0 0.42. For number 7, I mean iteration 7, that's 0 0.186, 0 0.3. 3, 1, and then negative 0 0.42. If you have observed for iteration 6 and 7, they are identical. They are identical. We have your 0 0.186. This one is 0 0.186. 0 0.331. 0 0.331. A negative 0 0.42. And negative 0 0.42. So, once the value of your x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are identical, then you will stop your iteration. On this part, you will not stop, you will not stop your iteration because the value are not identical. But on this iteration, iteration 6 and 7, they are identical. Therefore, you will st stop your iteration. So, our value of x this time, x sub 1, is equivalent to 0 0.186. Our x sub 2 is equivalent to 0 0.331. And x sub 3 is equivalent to negative 0 0.42 actually that is 0 0.423 so these are the values of x sub 1 x sub 2 x sub 3 okay as a rec as a recap for jacobi method given these equations First, you do the transposition of each coefficient. So, for example, x sub 1, when you find x sub 1, these two 
uh, coefficients or variables will be transferred to the other side. And then this one is negative 1. So 2x sub 2, 3x sub 3, that is negative. And then we have here 5. So when we transfer to the other, other side, that becomes 1 over 5. Same with this equation. And then same with this equation, we do the transposition. And then initially, since we do not know the initial solution, we will uh, use x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 as 0, 0, 0. And then substitute this 0, 0, 0 to this, let's say, x sub 2 and x sub 3 to find the value of x sub 1. Substitute 0, 0, 0 for x sub 3 and x sub 1 to find the value of x sub 2. As well as x sub 2 and x sub 1 make it 0. You have this one. To find the value of x sub 3. So after that, we will find the value of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. This will be our iteration number 1. x sub 2, negative 2. I mean x sub 1 is negative 2, 0.2. x sub 2 is 0.222. x sub 3 equals negative 0 0.429. We have this one. This is our first iteration. Iteration number 1. Iteration, we will no longer include 0, 0, 0. Iteration number 2 is our value of x sub 2. We use this one. Our value of x sub 3, we use this one. So substitute these two values to this equation. So we will find the value of x sub 1. For x sub 2, again, we will substitute the value of x sub 1 as 0 0.2, x sub 3 as negative 0 0.429. Then we will find the value of x sub 2, and so on. So you will stop your iteration if the values of your x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 are, are identical. So this time, since they are identical, we will stop our iteration and then the value of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are these values. So that is Jacobi method. This time, we will use another iteration method. We call it Gauss-Seidel method. So same example, given the following systems of linear equation. And then we will make use of Gauss-Seidel method to solve these systems of linear equation. From Jacobi method, we do the transposition of these coefficients okay so in Gauss-Seidel we will also do the transposition of coefficient, different coefficients of the linear equations we have this one and then again since we do not know the initial solution we will make use of 0 0 0 for x sub 1 x sub 2 x sub 3 now <coughs> To find the value of x sub 1, x sub 1, to find the value of our x sub 1, we will substitute the value of x sub 2 and x sub 3 as 0. So we have x sub 1, that is equivalent to negative 1 over 5, plus 2 over 5, our x sub 2 is equivalent to 0. We have this one minus 3 our x 3 over 5 that is 3 over 5 our x sub 3 is equivalent to 0 so we find the value of our x sub 1 <clears throat> we find the value of x sub 1 as using our calculator we have here negative 0.2 that is negative 1 over 5 that is negative 0 0.2 same value from Jacobi and then x sub 2 for x sub 2 this time uh, we will substitute uh, the value of x sub 1 as 0 0.2 so x sub 2 is equivalent to 
2 over 9 plus 3 over 9. This is 3 over 9. Okay, 3 over 9. Our x sub 1 is negative 0 0.2. We will no longer use this 0 because we already find the value of x sub 1 as negative 0 0.2. And then for x sub 3, that is minus 1 over 9. And then x sub 3, since we do not find yet the value of x sub 3, we will use 0. So our x sub 2, that is equivalent to using the calculator, you have 0 0.156. And then x sub 3. So, our x sub 3 is negative 3 over 7 plus 2 over 7. x sub 1 is, we will use this one, negative 0 0.2. And then, for x sub 2 minus 1 over 7, for this x sub 2, we will make use of 0 0.156. So we find the value of x sub 3 equivalent to negative 0 0.508. So in Jacobi method, we have the same value for x sub 1. But x sub 2 and x sub 3 are different because in our x sub 2, we already substitute the value of x sub 1 based from our computation here. And then x sub 3, we make use of our value of x sub 1 and x sub 2 as this one, our x sub 1 and then x sub 2. We will no longer use 0, 0 for this part. So, using our tabulation... We have n and then x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. So first iteration, we have the value of negative 0 0.2 for x sub 1. For x sub 2, that is 0 0.156. And then for x sub 3, that is negative 0 0.508. That is our initial I mean iteration, first iteration, second iteration, again, we will make use of this value to solve x sub 1, I mean x sub 2, and x sub 3. So, we will make use, same process, we will do this process, okay, so, and then make use of this value, so we arrive to... 0 0.167 for x sub 1 and then for x sub 2 that is 0 0.334 and then negative 0 0.429 and then 3 third we have 0 0.191 for iteration 3 0 0.333 and then negative 0 0.42 for 2, 2 and then for iteration 4 we arrive at 0 0.186 0 0.331 and then negative 0 0.423 for iteration 5 we have 0 0.186, 0 0.331, and negative 0 0.423. So, if you have noticed, iteration 4 and 5 are already identical. So, we will stop our iteration. So, the value of x sub 1, since they are identical, then these are the values of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. That is 0 0.186. And then for x sub 2, that is 0 0.331. And then x sub 3, that is equivalent to 
negative 0 0.423. So, this is almost similar to Jacobi because Gauss-Seidel method is just a modification for Jacobi. So, the only difference here is on this part. This part, instead of 0, I mean for the x sub 1, we have here 0, 0 for x sub 2 and x sub 3. So, we find negative 0 0.2. And then for x sub 2, we will now use the value of x sub 1. And then for x sub 3 is again 0. And then for x sub 3 here, we will now use the value of x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, we find the value of x sub 3. 